So first you want to go in with a white face paint. This one here is from Ben Nye. I have discovered by warming this up on the back of my hand and then applying it to my face that it makes this face paint much more easier to work with. It makes it very nice and creamy. Afterwards, going in with this Ben Nye Sitting Powder in Super White and applying that to my entire face to set the makeup. Now for eyeshadow, I'm taking this warm brown color right here and using a fluffy brush, buffing that only in the outer corners of my eyes as seen here. You want to make sure here that the blend is very, very soft. Afterwards, using a smaller brush, running that along my upper lash line. Now, take a brown shadow. Preferably, you want to use a khaki brown shadow. And, very softly, Run this along your upper lash line. The focus here is to simply make the upper lash line darker. FYI. Afterwards, I'm reaching for this metallic orange shadow. This one here is from Sugar Pill. Pat this over the brown shadow. I still want these shadows on my eyes overall to look very, very orange. Next, using a black eyeliner. This one is my favorite right now. It's the It Cosmetics Superhero Eyeliner. So starting at the outer corner, I'm drawing a small V to create my wing. Then filling that all in. Then lining the rest of my eye. Taking a black shadow, I'm smoking out this line. If you need to, fill your eyebrows in. I'm using that same khaki brown shadow and an angle iron brush and just filling them in, making the ends of the eyebrows darker to give more dimension. Now take that same warm brown shadow and a very small liner brush and start drawing three teardrop shapes right between your eyebrows. This is copying the design from the ball joint doll I have linked down below. Afterwards draw two additional teardrop shapes right above the shapes you just drew. Draw two lines coming out from these teardrops and curving around your eyebrows. Then you want to draw even more teardrop shapes coming out of these lines. You can create any design you wish, and here's mine. Next, you want to use a white liquid eyeliner. This one here is from Prestige Cosmetics. In the center of all these patterns, you want to fill it up with white. Also, I'm adding a little random dots around this design as well.
to make my eyes stand out even more. I'm adding little dots where I would usually highlight. So in the inner corners of my eyes and right below my bottom eyelid. For a final touch, reach for your favorite mascara. I'm trying out a new mascara from IT Cosmetics, and it is their superhero mascara. And I have to say it's pretty good. Just apply that to your top and bomb lashes. Afterwards, apply a set of false lashes which I've customized with paper. Now back to the face. First I'm using a taupe shadow and applying that to the bottom half of my nose. Then taking an orange shadow, I'm applying that in a line going up my nose. To balance that out as well, I'm drawing a teardrop shape right above my eyebrows, right in the center. Then I'm taking that same white eyeliner and drawing various shapes over these shadows. The key here is to create whatever shapes you want that fit the actual shadow shape. So keep that in mind. Right below my eyes, I'm buffing more of that orange shadow. I'm not really sure what shape it's supposed to be, but it's going down to around my the end of my nose. And then adding more designs on top. I apologize for not really showing much of this on camera, but I can't really see very well. So I had to get like really close to the mirror to see what I was doing. For the lips, I'm going to cover my top and bottom lip in white face paint. Setting that with white face powder. Afterwards, going in with a black shadow and buffing that right below my bottom lip and right onto my cupid's bow. Afterwards, taking this white shimmery shadow and applying this to the center of my bottom lip. Also applying that to the inner corners of my eyes, which didn't really show up, unfortunately. God dang it. After that, I'm going to take two gold gems which I got from Joann's, and apply one of them to the center of my bottom lip using eyelash glue. Also applying one to my filtrum. Once again, applying more shadow right below my bottom lip and over my chin. Kind of looks like a wiener and balls, but um, we're just gonna kind of not notice that. <laughs> Covering that up once again with white designs. Then I'm hearing more gold gems over my chin, 
and in the center of my forehead. And that completes this BJD inspired look. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel, and hit the bell icon as well. I will see you all later, and I hope all of you are doing well. Bye!